Hello, ABA. Happy Friday. Woo! All right, all right. Teacher Nikon has no announcements today, so let's make this quick, okay? So, hello, we are 11A1, and our presentation is about environment and sustainability. Wow. Brought to you by Teacher Go himself. Now, Joy, why don't you start us off? Thank you, Kaijai. Now, the first thing we have to understand about sustainability is the problem. The biggest concern of our generation is probably global warming, right? It's so familiar that it's kind of boring and cringe to talk about it now, but the point still stands that it's here with us. We throw trash away, it gets unprocessed, and the world gets a little hotter. It's time. Global warming could mean disaster for us all. But what does it mean, Joy? Huh? Well, you see, grass grows, bird flies, empire rises, well, oceans rises, empire falls, and well, the sky's still clear most of the time at least. You see, and that is precisely the problem we have. Because us as kids or just people living the common life, we don't really notice or see the effects of global warming or something bad about the environment. Well, of course, look, how many of you here have noticed the temperature rises for a bit? Of course, it's only a tiny bit of temperature rises. You don't really notice that, well, the earth is slowly getting warmer and warmer. You just live your everyday life without even noticing anything. So, and that's why. How many of you here actually knows where your trash goes after it goes into the bin? Okay, this guy at least. So, trash in Thailand will be managed by government and local ventures. Ever-sized plastic was introduced to us. We deal with them in two ways. So there's two ways, right? Either we bury them or we burn them. And as you know, it's not good for in environment either. And well, of course, there are green recycling bins anywhere, so you would expect, oh, but I am recycling trash, so and, you know, I am helping the environment. But you see, there's a problem with that. Only a small percentage of trash that ends up in the recycling bin actually get recycled. Why? Well, simply, it's cheaper to just throw these recycled trash into the landfills or burn them rather than trying to recycle them. So that's why global warming exists then? Because the government doesn't want to deal with our trash? Maybe. Uh, no, 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 we can't say that. So, it's not only a problem for the government, it's a problem for all of us as well. As my friends have said, we usually deal with trash in two simple ways. We bury them, we burn them. And even if we recycle the trash, only a small percent of those recycled trash actually get recycled. You put your trash in the green bin, the recycling bin, does it get to be recycled? No. It joins the same bin that every other trash goes to. So what are we supposed to do then? What are we supposed to do? <laughs> Where does the trash go? Well, let's first begin by starting small. Let's start small with something like plastic. We all love plastic, right? It's a magical material. Magical, magical material. Malleable, small, cheap to produce. It's used in everything. That's why we use it in everything. And that's why now there's so much of it. We can't get rid of plastic. And we can't stop using plastic as well. So the best thing we can do is we can clean the plastic, sort the plastic, and not send it to the government this time. See, we need to bring our trash to people who know how to recycle them, who want to recycle them, private companies. And now this might sound a little familiar, because ABA is already doing it. Where? Well, why don't you tell us, Joy? So as you all know, Student Council has been collecting school trash and sending them to private companies who we trust to recycle them. And so far, everyone's doing a great job. Really? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> well, it's a big shame that Stuko has to be the one who cleans the trash, but hey, you know, not our problem, Stuko's problem, right? 
But as you can see, it is an effort made by all of you to sort out your trash, to clean out your trash, and to bring these trash towards people who know how to recycle them. You see, when I say that it is an effort, it doesn't mean that you go up to a recycling bin and you throw whatever you have in there. It means you think about where you put your trash. It means you think about where you bring your garbage. It means you know the people who can recycle them. And, of course, it's a real effort that we all have to put in together. Oh, what do I get for this? Uh, better world? Just give me nothing. So, why, sh why I should to recycle? You see, it's support us being the younger generation, it even means a lot more to us than to some, or to people in, uh, standing in the back like uh, Teacher Bon over there, hello Teacher Bon. Or Teacher Go, I, I have no idea where Teacher Go went. Oh, hello Teacher Go. Well, of course, this relates to you even more, the um, seventh grade, I have no idea what grade you are, but the younger generation. Why? Because, well, we're going to be on this earth for a lot longer than the people in the back are. Not saying they're leaving for somewhere else. It's just simply, we're going to live longer than a lot of people here. So, of course, we need to take care of our earth so us and even the future, future generation can have a clean and green earth to live on. And well, there we go. All right, that's just about it. So let's have a little recap. What should we do with our trash? Number one, clean. Number two, sort it out. And number three, find people who recycle them. All right? And that's pretty much it. Thank you very much, guys. Don't forget, sort your trash and clean it.